welcome back to my channel how are we doing i hope we're all doing great welcome back to another video on this channel so if it's your first time on my channel you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always returning from last for my last video thank you so much for contributing for letting me know what thursday burns beer in ghana like i said i'm a post here and my baby ya is in the building <laughs> this is baby ya <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Today's video, I'll be talking about something very, very interesting and very educative. In this video, I'll be sharing with you tips on how to make a first class in Ghana. Please, if you don't know, know it now. Ghanaian schools, private schools, public schools are very competitive. They have intelligent students. They produce intelligent students. Ghanaians are quite intelligent as well as Nigerians. If you are thinking or aspiring to go and, <laughs> like I said, <laughs> they paid you. If you are thinking of going to study in Ghana, please prepare yourself for academic competition. That's what I mean. Not um, uh, uh, any other kind of competition, okay? It's a new one now. <laughs> let's just go right into it let's start i'll be analyzing some tips on how to make a first class in ghana there's a comment i read one time from some videos i made the last time people were saying eh, if you don't know if you don't if you don't get admission in nigeria there's a place you go and dump yourself it's in ghana blah 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 i just overlooked those comments but i'm just concentrating on the tips that helped me to finish very well in school those things that I did that assisted me so well to finish with the first class in Ghana. Yes, first class in Ghana is different from first class in Nigeria, but the grading system, the GPA and all those things are, they are quite different. So wherever you studied, whatever you got is what you deserve. If you studied in Nigeria, you made a first class, kudos to you because you worked hard. If you studied abroad and you made a first class, kudos to you because you worked hard as well, whether you worked hard or harder. I would say making a first class in Ghana is quite quite hard because of the competition guys the competition is high there are a lot of people who are they don't, they're not slacking they just want to get to the top if you make a first class like overall best you either get a scholarship well deserving scholarship very good scholarship to some affiliated school or any school of your choice they are there to sponsor you number one thing you must you must do if you want to really finish well in school please don't joke with attendance always attend lectures always go for your classes don't miss your class the only reason you should miss a class if it's a critical issue like you are not feeling well or maybe it's no it's beyond your control you can't be and if you must be absent you must let either your class rep know or your lecturer as well know or just you know just let them know at the same time back it up with some doctor's report or something if you want to do well in Ghana schools, like I know, I advise you, please, attendance is very important because it, it carries the mark as well. The yes. second thing you need to do is do all your assignments. Don't joke with your assignment. Assignment also makes up the overall score for your for each subject or for each course. Don't joke with your assignment. Don't say, ah, I beg, all these things are not really necessary am i a baby are we what's the assignment i bet you i'll copy from one of my classmates please another thing avoid plagiarism don't copy copy you're not going to copy someone's work you're not going to copy anybody's work do your work let it be original if at all you must copy a work please give credits do your assignment if you are copying any work please give credits number three is Try as much as possible to participate in everything the school organizes, whether it is extra curriculum or it's course or it's course related or whatever. Just make yourself known. Let them just see that you are active. Let them see that you are there. Do you know why I'm saying this? There are times I need, like now I'm out of school and there are, and I want to further my education. Definitely, whichever school you are applying to will require. They'll be asking you for. They'll be asking you of. A referee and all that and how would sorry <laughs> how would you get a referee if you are not active in school or no one knows you in class no the teacher the lecturer doesn't even know your face eh, you can reach out to them and they will let you know like I don't really know you and don't expect any lecturer to come alive for you 
or you just have to pay to get it but it's good when a lecturer knows you and they are giving facts about who you are in a referee letter that you can give to whichever school you want to give to okay so please participate in everything when i mean everything the school does the school organizes extra curriculum within the school premises within the school you know events any events at all these are things that will assist you to you know to do well in school it makes up everything about making a good result from from Ghanaian schools number four is please study well for examinations don't do surface reading but when during my own time the lecturer gives us slides they give us notes I have my own personal jottings how I write that I understand let me even show you an example oh my notes far away from here just learn how to make notes I have all these um, sticky notes that I put around my my book whenever I'm reading or whenever I'm learning and all I advise people to have that kind of style of reading just have a unique style of reading so you can prepare very well for your examination if you really want to do well in your exams okay another point that I would like to bring out is in terms of making an excellent criminal with an outstanding result in your there's nothing like you know too much for the fact that you're in a class not so crowded there are people that know more than you but don't look down on yourself make your own effort push 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 your own effort if you know people who know me if you are if you know me forget the fact that my face has changed i'm looking more beautiful see those who know me know it. i can pursue something to the core i pursue my class and once i know i don't know this thing i must the person that i know that knows it i go and make friends with that person he will teach me i'll get to understand the people endured me a lot because man i could disturb they gave me names and everything but i know they loved me and by the grace of God, I did well. All those things, these tips I put into place helped me. Another point is be open-minded. You see the same what I'm saying? Be open-minded. Open yourself up to people for learning. Open yourself to learn. Make friends with people that know. Don't go and make friends with people that do party after party. From one party to the other party. They are moving here and there. They don't have a they don't have a bearing. They don't even have a direction. Make friends with people that know what they came to do. If possible. You know, just Psych your mind, synchronize your mind to so you know what? I'm here to come out with good results. I'm here to make my parents proud. I'm here to, you know, make to bring out a name for myself and I'm gonna be fine. Please make friends with people, like-minded fellows who are playing this one play. Go and bring it for me. Like-minded people like you. Don't be too rigid to yourself. Make people feel good out and we need to learn. Another thing that I advise, I've mentioned it earlier, but I want to throw a little more light in it. You see this extra curriculum thing they do maybe secretary this and that in school i was secretary to my club for at least just a year while he was in power and see that thing helped me boost my my cv it helped me boost my cv before i left school i already started building my my my, my cv building my cv because i know i'm not just limiting myself to just national stuff i want to go international yes and by the case of god we are getting there guys so yes guys thank you so much if you've watched this far i have i know there are many people who did well outside with time i'll be inviting some you know some guests to this channel to be make to be sharing valid points of maybe on scholarships traveling abroad not only ghana because people are asking me why is it only ghana why don't you talk about other countries please i have basic i have my own basic experience from ghana so i cannot i cannot give you what i don't have so i have to talk about what i've experienced and how it was for me in ghana so much for watching if you have watched this far please if this video was really helpful please give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like you never done before like hit that subscribe button and share with your audience share with your friends copy the link share you know join our telegram page and i will see you in my next video bye of course here is saying bye so let yeah say bye yeah say bye tell them bye say bye Say bye. bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.